What is good? Fuck. Good. <laughs> Everyone. Shoobs here. <laughs> this is so scuffed. <laughs> I just want to note that Momoka sent this board out for a honest review and I was compensated for my time on the review but that will not change my thoughts on the board itself and it will be all just my honest opinion. What is good everyone, Shubes here. Today we'll be taking a look at a new budget 65% from Momoka called the Zoo 65. I say budget in a very loose sense since this keyboard will retail for around $165, uh, but in the realm of mechanical keyboards and this cursed hobby, that is on the relatively budget friendly side. Well, anyways, Momoka sent this board for a review, so let's see how this board stacks up against the competition, which has been growing bigger and bigger. This board is a isolation gasket board, by the way, so it will be in direct comparison with boards like the KBD67 Lite, as well as the Iki68 Aurora, JMNK Pro, and the Keychron line of keyboards. So the board comes in this really nice, cute looking box, and uh, has all of the accessories well, I'll mention all those in a bit but let's see how the board actually looks like Yay. Oh. it's real tight in there okay Yeet. So the board, like I mentioned before, is a 65% isolation gasket mounted board featuring a fully CNC'd and anodized aluminum case. It has a very simple side profile, it's literally a wedge, uh, but a unique two-piece top look which I think is pretty sleek, uh, it's definitely unique in terms of the other budget boards. It also features some engravings of animals on the top as well as the bottom of the case. Rip my homie the dodo bird though. <laughs> and overall I think the board from the top town looks very minimalistic but also has the differentiating sort of feature and honestly I think it looks pretty clean. So a little bit more detail on the board itself. This board will be available for group buy starting March 1st based on your region's distributor shown here. Uh, it will retail for 165 USD for the bare bones kit, which will include all of the listed components. The board will be available in charcoal black, storm blue, or the hunter green, which I have right here. Welcome to another episode of Shoob's Talks Without a Fucking Script. How are you guys doing? It's been a while since I last did this. <laughs> I'm surprised that I haven't really had really long sort of builds, but um, I'm doing okay. Hope you guys are doing good. Thank you guys so much for 80,000 subscribers. It means a lot. That is crazy. Uh, basically, for the last two weeks or so, I've just been MIA. Uh, I've just been playing Lost Ark. No lifing it. I am freaking addicted. I am tier 3 now though, but god, please send help. I, I, I definitely need it. So Momoka also sent over the spark uh, keycaps by them, but we are going to be using a GMK camping on this because I don't think the red really goes with the green and camping is probably gonna slap on this board. Anyways, here is how the board looks with the completed build. Honestly, it looks pretty sleek. I actually really like the wedge side profile. It's so simple that it's actually clean. The top down is pretty nice as well. Not the hugest fan of the engravings at the top, but I don't know, some people might be into that. But I do like the big dodo bird at the bottom of this. Uh, but let's see how this board types and feels. And uh, on the note of how this board feels on hand, it's actually very, very solid. Um, this is probably the most solid feeling 65% in this price range that I felt actually uh, pretty nice. And it's quite hefty too. It's quite hefty without the weight. It's almost as heavy as my Vega.
So, what are my thoughts on the board? It is quite nice. Even with the configuration I went with with all the foam, the sound is actually quite lively and not too muted. And building without the foam, I think the board will definitely be on the higher pitched end side for isolation gasket boards. Also, there's no sign of ping or hollowness. The case itself is solid as fuck. Overall, the typing experience of this board is probably one of the nicest out of the pool of budget boards. With the PC plate, the bottom out is very soft and there is a nice amount of give and flex while not being over the top. Out of the typing feel sort of chart from hardest to softest out of the budget gasket boards, I would put the GMMK Pro at the stiffest, then the KBD67 Lite, then the Keychron Q1 slash Q2, then the Momoka Zoo 65, and finally the AK68 Aurora R2 without the silicon dampener as the most over the top soft. So in terms of that list, this is definitely one of the softest gasket boards out there in terms of the budget options. So after typing on this for a little bit, I think this board actually feels super similar to my AI-03 Vega in terms of how it types and the bottoming out overall sort of feel. These are both with PC Place by the way, so that is also one thing, but the gasket implementation is quite, quite similar. Also, the Zoo 65 does have a bit more flex and give than the Vega, but the Vega does have a much a uh, bit more refined sort of sound overall. In terms of the QC and the overall build quality of this board, it is solid and sturdy and I actually quite like the look of it as well. Uh, nothing really to complain about there. Overall, I think that this board is a refreshing and well-refined metal entry gasket board that really does everything quite well. I think the bar for entry for budget boards is pretty high at the moment, with really uh, many great keyboards coming out and available, making the choice pretty hard. But if you like the classic 65% look with a bit more jazz going on from the top down view and want a nice and soft gasket implementation with a solid sound, I would pretty much highly recommend this. However, if you already own a budget board like the KBD67 Lite or the Q1, I don't think that buying another isolation gasket board like this would be really worth it. But you know, if you really like how it looks, hey, maybe it will be, but there won't be too big of a difference there in terms of sound and feel, in my opinion. But yeah. All in all, this board is solid for the price, and I am glad to see more good budget options constantly popping up, and I'm excited to see some more. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for checking out the video till the end, and uh, all the support like always. Thank you guys again for 80,000 subscribers. More content on the way soon, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.